So good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Mahesh Swami here, and I thank everyone for being here with us today. Uh, today, it's my pleasure to introduce my own senior, Dr. Ilaya Palan, and a very special guest from our home institute, CPMBT and Yekwambatu. And I would like uh, myself want to give a special introduction, but it would be special if my other well-wisher and our own senior, uh, Mr. Tumil sir, gave some introduction, personal introduction about Dr. Ilaya Palan sir. So, uh, Mr. Tumil, uh, uh, can you? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take over my introduction. Uh, yeah, sure, Mahesh. I'll take yes, over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you. Dear friends and viewers, I would like to introduce you Dr. Ilaya Balan. He's uh, basically from a farmer's family, but uh, a person, as a scientist, we have always looked at him who always takes care of a farmer's needs as the main inspiration for his research. And he's right now working in uh, MAM Institute of Agriculture and Technology. And his major work and research has been uh, in tissue culture. And he was working in hill banana varieties and several other things. The important thing he's known for is bringing artificial intelligence technology into applied agriculture, which will help farmers to uh, monitor and give recommendations on you know, the diseases. And his app name is Tumaini. Uh, he's one of our seniors who have uh, always helped us in studies and everything. And uh, I would like to introduce you. And he would be talking more about his research, his uh, artificial intelligence app, and how it helps and benefits the farmers and how it's going to help in future. Dear sir, please take over and you can you know talk about yes, whatever is your research and benefits of it. Yeah, thank you so much, Tumil, sir. And before uh, moving to the slide, uh, I also would like to give some technical aspects for all the participants. Uh, Dr. Elevon, can you change the slide? Next slide. So these are some important technical aspects. So all the participants here in the uh, WebEx, kindly turn off your webcam for better buffering. And you will be always in mute mode. So if you want to ask any question, um, you could use raise hand option and also you can uh, drop your question in the comment box. Whereas in the people in UT, you can also drop all your question in the comment box. And, and also don't forget to send your feedback via Telegram channels that I will update you at the end of the session. So with that, I'll be, I ask everyone to give a keen attention to Dr. Ilay Balan and help me to host his uh, this wonderful session. So thank you so much, Dr. Ilay Balan, sir. And now I let you to take over the session. Yeah, okay. Yes, hi everyone. <laughs> yeah. So we know as a technologist, how the machine will answer our the question, the real answer. So as you know, agriculturist as we know the bioinformatician, I say biotechnologist. For this research, this artificial intelligence technology, how the farmers going to helpful? So in, in India, still we are in developing, developing, developing for all the technology, but the end user should be useful for the advancement of the science. So I past 15 years, I'm working on banana. So how the artificial intelligence going to, to link between the biological knowledge, and field knowledge and the human knowledge. Finally, the knowledge is going to convert into the mission should answer the questions. So this is the research. So the artificial intelligence, how the agriculture going to helpful. So what we did, we are did in Banana. So this is the main research. We are collaborated with the International Center for Tropical Agriculture. So these are our partners and also the Biodiversity International. This is the global research. And also the global research and also the specifically for the giving recommendation to the farmers. So this is the app, name is Chimani. This is the real time app. So this lecture, we are going to see the detail, how we develop, how it's going to useful for the farmers and also the global monitoring system. Okay. So that we need what is the artificial intelligence? Okay. So the machine should be the process, the including learning, reasoning, and self-correction. 
So how the machine going to imitate like intelligent of human behavior? Okay, so we need to give the inputs. It should be the output should be the statistical techniques that learn from the serious inputs and outputs. That is the machine learning. So that deep learning process with the help of algorithms. Okay, Hachai. So 15 years I observed the plants. Yeah, this is a disease or not. This is the disease. So we know the answer with the learning from the books and learning from practically, but the machine, how should we learn this and giving the answer? That was the technology, okay? So before that, uh, we know artificial intelligence technology, how it was coming in 21st century. So from our forefathers, we are using by hand for showing seed harvesting, processing everything by hands. But nowadays, we are using every operation in missionaries. But the machine should be operated by ourselves. But in future, without the human being involving to operate the machine, that was the artificial intelligence. How the artificial is going to be for agriculture? So monitoring the weather, monitoring, and even seed drilling, even plowing the land, even for the pest and disease detection, even the harvesting for the maturity index of the fruits. This is a ripened or not. Usually we are observing and collecting the fruits, but the machine, the robotics, how they pick the ripened one that was the very very crucial the machine how should know this is ripened or not how going to train the machine that was the thing nowadays we want next level of agriculture so we are doing protected agriculture everything we need to monitor infest and disease whether everything is the foremost important how we want to train how going to train the machine that was very important okay so machine learning process Machine learning process is very, very crucial. Okay. So, you know, the AI technology. So, how learn the machine? So, by observing ourselves, the classification is foremost important. Which one we are going to train the machine? That was the very, very important questions. Okay. So, classification. If you see the object detection, so cat, dog, duck. In, from the image, we should know this is cat, this is dog, this is duck. So the machine should know this is dog, this is this. So we need to train the machine. Okay. So how we are training our machine? How we are linking the artificial intelligence technology to the banana? Okay. So for example, we are learning as a human being. We are learning through photographs. We are learning through objects, but the machine. We need to collect the images. We need to label it. This is dog, this is cat. Then only the machine will learn and give the answer. Okay. Sometimes the machine is going to confuse, like our child. While childhood age, we are confusing. This is elephant, this is cat. So once we are learning, 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 up to death, we are not forgetting while showing the elephant. You will answer it up to death. You are, yes, it is elephant. We are not changing that this is not dog okay same like we are collecting the images labeling and this is the foremost important for so train the machines how we are trained with the help of banana okay so this is a very recently we published in the august last five months back this is plant methods ai powered banana plant disease and pest direction okay so this is the real time app so you know that difference you know the difference between the app and the real-time app. So app this is giving information, but real-time app that is for artificial intelligence technology. So they will give answer immediately. That was the things. Okay. So the background of our research, you know, the banana is the most popular fruit in the world and also the tropical region. So how the novel methods for detection and disease. As we know, we are the biotechnology star, we are bioinformatics, we take and the sample student to the laboratory and design the primers and, and and also after amplifying, we are confirming, yes, the presence absence of the disease. But the timely detection is the foremost important, time consumption is very, very important. So that was the thing we use the deep conventional neural network, that is a DCNN and also the transfer learning process. So we successfully, 
we trained our machine and given the feedback to the farmers. So, okay, so this is the background. So what we developed, so we collected the image. Okay, so we are collecting the first step is for the image collection. So we collected more than 12,000 images in different classes. Okay, so then data labeling, then label data we are splitting, then we are doing validation and reconfirmance and performance of our app giving accuracy. That was the for most important. So you can look at this, most of the classification it is given more than 90 percentage accuracy. Okay, we will see step by step how we develop, how we validated, how we are giving the result. What's the thing? So we have the data sheet, we have 12,000 raw images and also 30,000 annotation and six models, okay? So internationally, if you look out the banana having more, more fungal and bacterial and viral disease, okay? So the first one is the banana sandamonas built is more prevalent in Africa. The fusarium built is worldwide is a major devastating disease and also banana bunjita virus and black cicatoka and yellow cicatoka, the leaf spot, okay? For causing viral and bacterial and fungal disease and also pest magic pest from is called weevil. So we know the disease, but we know the plant is healthy or not. So that is the most we need to collect the image is the foremost important and labeling is the foremost important for the human knowledge should be converted into the artificial in AI. The machine should be labeling. So the proper labeling will train. Okay. So we know the fusarium wilt. Okay, everyone should know the disease and leaf spot and com evil and nematodes. Okay, so you know the viral disease, the hundred percent yield has, but the farmers doesn't know. They want recommendation. Okay, so this is our data sheet. So we look over it. See, see the twelve thousand images we collected. This is the original data. The current data sheet up to. So we collected images in different parts. Okay, entire plant leaf stem, fruit, cut fruit, comb, and rackies, and totally. So we collected the images and trained our machine is giving results, okay? So data is the foremost important for image collection. So how we collected the image, okay? So how we annotated, we'll look at it. So, so if we collecting the image and we annotated in this, and also foremost important for the season is the foremost important, yeah. So the disease is never going to happen the whole year. So we need to wait and collect the images from the different seasons and different timings. This was the foremost important. So we, we 18 months, we collected, waited and collected the images and annotated, okay? Then we, we made the classification, okay? So six classification. So the root portion, whole plant scanning, and fruit cut, yellow stem cut, and fruit and leaf. So this was finally we derived the app with the help of TensorFlow. So we uh, developed the app. This app is six languages: okay, Spanish, English, and African language, and so Tamil. So first we given to the Tamil Nadu is the world number one for banana production and productivity. So we are targeting our Tamil Nadu farmers. Then we simultaneously now we are developing Hindi version for the whole India is used, but other things, we are, other countries we are using multi languages. So look at this, this is the six classification, okay? This is the app, okay? So see, if you take this image, whatever this, the background, you keep it inside the machine to scan, immediately the plant is 83% healthy, okay? So if you select the whole plant, which portion you want to scan? So which portion you want to know the disease name? Other thing, otherwise the plant is healthy or not. Okay, first the machine will, uh, machine will focusing only will giving answer to, answer to the machine should answer to the banana. Okay, so this is the matrix model we made. So this is uh, one more thing. It is available for a freely available uh, in the Google Play Store for the betterment of the farming community. We are given freely to the app. So everyone should access access to the app. Okay. So okay, if you take how the detect the fusarium built, okay. So if you take the image, if you feed on the machine, okay, once you scan, 
see see different kind of plants are there soil is there different kind of things are there only to detect so 96 percentage this banana is affected by fusarium wilt this plant is 67 percentage is healthy this plant is 54 percentage so this is a two step process once you scan it on the form itself you know the disease name you know the description and control measure this is the on form itself the machine will answer the questions okay not like that take the image and went to the internet and seeing the comparatively see the disease or not this one this one this one so the people will confuse itself the farmer should get the answer in the on form itself to control measures okay and also if you cross cut the stem pseudo stem portion so feed on the machine it will tell yeah the pseudo stem is affected by the fusarium wilt okay that's a banana wilt they are giving the recommendation and also take the leaf spot and also giving to the symptom that is a yellow liquor sort of leaf spot is a internationally is a major problem then the major problem viral disease to the group of plants you take the image you will tell the bunch top or not the plant is how much has percentage even see the plant is 96 percentage is affected by viral disease but the it is giving the result and remaining plants are healthy 89 percentage and where it was how to control so so similarly it is giving the answer the home form itself okay and also the foremost important yeah one side we are bothering about the disease another side we want yield prediction okay so yield prediction is the foremost important whether the plant is healthy or not that was the big thing yeah see the if you take the images and feed on your machine in the leaf leaf classification it is given the percentage your banana plant is healthy leaf. 95 percentage is healthy yes we can predict 10,000 hectares if you collect the collect the cultivate the banana so we need to yield prediction that is the foremost important so the so control is for healthiness okay our plant is entirely healthy so yeah we developed we are validated our machine how it was working that was the big thing after collecting the data and training our machine and made the app then we are going to test very recently we tested the app in different parts of tamil nadu okay so we are visited so so i tested in Paimutur, teni lawyer palani hills Kolli hills and pachamalai with the different cultivars and different disease and different mobiles okay farmers they know they are not having well well equipped mobile phones they are having low version mobile phones so our machine should be work on different kind of mobile phones that was our thing so farmers point of view so we collected in different portion different parts and also we trained with our students yeah so my students are more foremost is back of my, my research so they are when we, you know very well our agriculture graduates are going to rural agriculture work experience i given to the app everybody installed and trained the farmers and also i went to the on farm field itself i trained the farmers also my students also the students they they did the very good testing the app and also given to the feedback yeah this is 99 percent the app is giving and also the farmers different kind of places we given and recommendation using and also i am i am keeping for the 100 plants in my farm that is my college farm we have orchard so we have the projects we given to the topic to the projects the agriculture graduates there per day they are collecting more than thousand images in different mobile phone in different location in different angle and different lighting so they are collecting and we are now annotating and revalidation of our app is giving now it is giving accuracy so 94 98 193 so this is a very recently we unpublished this data very recently we got the testing accuracy at tamil nadu okay so so these things okay up to this we talk about mobile app how the mobile app going to help for the aerial monitoring system now we are going to see the very interestingly so the same thing now we are collecting images from okay. through drones we are collecting the images and given our machine and train the machine now we are going to collect aerial images see the banana disease classification while taking the aerial images wherever the plant is infected okay see the image this is anthemonas build 
this is very we are recently we are working with an african partners they are taking drone images but in india they are not allowing for taking drone images very shortly we are going to implement in india also and also this is kampala this is uh, africa place here really we can capture the plants so easily we can giving recommendation to the wherever the plants affected and also if and also our machine should to detect banana so many trees are there so many buildings are there so using sentinel so satellites we are get the space so this is the banana the yellow portion is banana is cultivating wherever the banana is cultivating we are mapping the bananas so easily we can detect the disease so the mobile app the ground truth data now it is helping for the satellite monitoring system okay the farmers also can able to monitor the field and also we can label we can mapping the field we can monitor through aerially to whether the banana is infected or not okay so this is the disease monitoring system we develop with the help of the ground truth data the mobile is connected with the gps so we can detect world world to monitoring the banana disease detection as well as disease alert so this is the disease monitoring system and also in our india we can use for crop insurance scheme and also how many acres we are cultivating banana so yield prediction so fao website everywhere you can see the production productivity by raw data but the help of this is monitor this satellite monitoring this system we can yield prediction crop monitoring system and disease detection we can give how the imd that is indian i am giving the early one the warning system for cyclone similar like we can give the alert for disease alert to the banana so this is the linking between the ground to data mobile application to drone to satellite okay so i am going to conclude conclude our system this is automated mobile app to help the million banana farmers for the developing countries with the local languages they can on form it up they know the disease okay the finally i am going to acknowledge for this this is a platform cgr platform they are given to the big data there is a big program is going on so they are given the space for our data storage and also the these things we are working with the cat and biodiversity international so uh, keeping our data very safely and also the foremost important and thank to tamil nadu banana grower federation and tamil nadu banana ilbana grower federation their moral support for testing and collecting the data and revalidation and do the farmers okay finally i am conclude this um, hello 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 sir i am going to give demo now real demo for the app shall i do yes sir sure sure yes sir before uh, can you take some questions the basic questions from the students okay. Okay. okay, I think it would be nice to connect between the demo and the introduction, I guess. Okay, okay. So uh, Divya will ask all the questions. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, so uh, somebody asked, does this app provide preventive measures for the infection and the recommendations for fertilizers? Uh, no, no, this is for only pest and disease detection. Now we are adding for nutrition deficiency and nutrition recommendation also. This is exclusively for pest and disease detection. Uh, sir, you talked about this uh, drone survey, you know, of the pest and diseases. Yeah. So, do you have any plans in the future to extend, uh, to find, to take a survey of the the fertilizers or the the soil content, the nutrient content yeah. available in the soil itself before yeah, you plant just... like fresh banana? Uh, so that is uh, we are we, we are linking with weather data that is the foremost important weather data and soil nutrition status okay. so that will be helpful for this and uh, what what no, we are we are we are now training our machine with nutrition deficiency okay so major nutrition deficiency is banana is the potassium okay so yes. through leaf they will express in potassium okay if you get a deficiency the soil is having nutrition uh, is less that farmers can able to apply the nutrition and also the micronutrition deficiency yeah. okay so another thing about uh, feeding the raw images what is the minimum okay. requirement of the images to be fed into the app for maximum yeah. accuracy no that is that that's why we collected images from different kind of mobiles 
low low pixel mobiles so okay our our app it will helpful for all the farmers very low in low quality images they will capture it they will train how can it also alter to the angles you know of the way they no, picture the, the, the images the, the shin about the angle does he know about the light it doesn't know about the background okay that is say now i am going to give them more i have my hand having banana see so and also i have fruits i will immediately i will demo it so the mission so would you would you keep a uh, a feeding images from time to time whatever you get from the farmers yes 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 you, you can collect the images you can keep it as such in your mobile you can feed it you can directly go to the field with gps switch on the gps they will give the recommendation this is a location okay location specific and also the yeah. uh, also the drones can uh, hel help in the future in india yes 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 yeah we just uh, last uh, i think december after december i was i went to china after i came to india we talked to the tna vice chancellor also and also our dg icar so uh, the nrcb so we are going to mapping our tamil nadu and india so this mapping will helpful for global monitoring so yeah they are not allowing for drone to fly everywhere okay sir sir, sir I, i have one question can you tell us the technical in technical terms uh, in artificial intelligence which uh, whether this one include supervised learning or unsupervised learning or deep learning uh, how you collected the images and how many images you have uh, yeah. uh, like these technical uh, details may be Uh, see, this is the our original data sheet. Okay, okay. so okay. minimum, minimum, if you want to train your machine, you need seven uh, hundred or even thousand two hundred images. Minimum seven hundred. Okay, okay. So the models uh, use these much data, and uh, which type of machine learning you have used? Uh, supervised tensor flow, tensor flow, tensor flow. Okay, and CNN, net neural network. Okay, okay. Why you have selected the tensor flow and uh neural networks uh, yeah so uh, we are uh, now with the train our machine and cnn and tensor flow this is full for offline mode okay this is we are working online mode the farmers offline mode also uh, they can able to detect the disease that's why okay okay, so, okay that is the main reason you have selected yeah. neural networks yeah, yeah. and tensor yes flow. yes Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you have technical experts to uh, yeah, to collaborate, yeah, yeah. sir? Yeah, we have two computer engineer from CIAT. So I uh, think five people, sir. We have one one from plant physiology, another from uh, banana scientist. I am from biotechnologist. So it is link. We have two computer engineers. They have the studio. I will send the link. You know, get freely for annotation tools and also other uh, materials. Also, is there? They having one studio. thank you sir thank you and uh, another person asked that uh, he says that he has the pest attack in stem which is common yes. in his town so is he is asking whether it is possible to you know uh, to have this uh, to get the like to get an image of what he says so is it possible to get possibility of pest attack in stem without cutting the stem uh, without cutting see if you i will show the image so without, without cutting you can see a outside image but destructive method is for most important yeah so that is uh, will doubt that is uh, now we are uh, training not like the mri scanning you feed on our uh, body they will give the answer that will teach so, uh, there are lots of uh, epid uh, epidemiological studies like to scan the outbreak or uh, in different crops uh, around the globe so you showed an image or uh, image across yes, the continents so do you have any plans in the future to actually record the outbreak of the, uh, certain banana diseases you know that is epidemic yeah that is now the globe. mapping that now we are mapping mapping okay so, so the data if mapping you, yeah you if, if you look out in africa so you know our near near by our continent Africa having banana sandomonas wilt. Okay, if you cut the banana, who's out will come out, like our body. Mm-hmm. That is absent in India. Okay. 
one of the vulnerable disease in Africa. And also the fusarium, that is a fusarium that is banana built. This is, uh, we have four races. Now it is everywhere it's spreading. Okay. Recently in uh, Australia, they're having banana blood disease. Very recently we added our classification. Banana like our- Blood disease. Yeah, if you cut the banana, the blood will come off. There are also on bacteria. We've never, uh, we've never studied probably in pathology on this. Yes, I... yes, yes, yes. People. Yeah. Xanthomonas, yeah. we studied. Fusarium uh, wilt is very common, uh, common disease, but we have not heard about this blood disease. Can you say a little bit of? This is banana blood disease. This is on bacteria. This will go and affected by through insects while taking honey. While taking honey the insect and birds, it will transmit through the male bud, it will go inside our body. So it is top to bottom or from, while using the, uh, what will be, see the farm tools. Through farm tools also, it will be affected the banana. Yeah, there is a banana bread disease. Okay. Very, really, a very big problem in Australia. Bunched up virus. Through farm tools, it spreads. Yeah, through farm tools, they will spread. Oh, okay. It's a vulnerable disease. No, say banana sandamonas and banana blood disease. And fusarium is a big problem worldwide traffic in race four. Race four is not even present in India, but very recently in Bihar, in North, North India, they studied. So if you enter into our banana industry, it will completely wipe out. Mm -hmm. So do you have uh, plans to do this data mapping according to the yes, geographical yes, zone, yes, according to yeah. the disease, according to the varieties, yeah. the cultivars, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially the bulbizium and the cuminator for yeah. the family? Yeah, we talked to the NRC banana and also the Tenny farmers. They are doing granine. So we are going to mapping it and monitoring. That was the thing, future plan. It's a going ongoing process. We talked with our our DG, okay, Director General in Horticulture and ICR. They are very much interested in this project. This is going to be helpful for our farmers. Now it is a now they are mapping in Africa. So Africa is a map. There is a looks like there is a big scope for uh, epidemiological studies. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Modeling and connecting that uh, data, uh, connecting all the data and uh, from artificial intelligence. Is, yes, is yes. going to be and also for yield prediction that is the foremost important yield prediction and disease monitoring and crop insurance scheme you know where now the crop insurance india yes sir yeah yeah Without cultivating they are getting crop insurance this thing oh. will come they, they will they will know real wherever the banana is growing even other crops also wherever they are growing so they will release the fund without cultivating the crops the farmers are getting crop insurance then only the loans will be waivered for those who grew. Yeah. Grew banana as such. So that's a really yeah. good initiative, sir. Somebody asked uh, the question, are you planning to study on some other plans as well in the future? So are you going to extend yeah. in the future? Diversity? It is, continue, it is continue research. We are adding, no, one more thing. So I will show this image. Okay, You are going enter the hotel, okay? The hotel, they will keep banana leaf the leaf is infected or not. For common people, they will use that. Oh, okay. So if you are buying the banana, this is which variety, which is a nutrition. So, you know, Kadali and Puvan, they will confuse in your market. Kerala yes. Rasta and normal Rastali, they will confuse. The people will take the image. We are now training our model for consumer preference and common people also. Mm -hmm. So not only in the growing part of it, it is also in the consumer point of view. Yeah, we'll supply chain management. All the harvest index, also the yes, quality yes, index yes. will all be yes. taken into account. Yes, this is a, a big classification we are adding one by one. That's why our, our model is a big confusion model. Okay. We are trained so many images with different country, different uh, inputs. That our machine is given answer 90 percentage, first time test. A huge success, sir. When coming, yeah, yeah, yeah that accuracy. is that much data we given. So, I am you know, past 15 years, I am collecting data, photos, images. That's now okay. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much, sir. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, now we have uh, thank you so much, Divya. We have one more question. We can take one more question from 
Mr. Godwin. So, uh, Godwin, you can unmute yourself and you can ask question. Uh, hi, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for this talk. It's very nice. So, you were talking about the yield prediction. Can you can you uh, elaborate a bit on that? And I had one more question. Um, for for the I think one one of those slides you were talking about the accuracy. Can you go to that slide as well? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Last data you got, I think you recently got that data, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamil Nadu, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had like you one one second. I can't see the yeah. So correctly identified the disease. So this is the accuracy. So meaning that you are taking the pictures and yeah. hundred percentage of this data is correct. This is what yeah. we identified the disease. Yeah. So what does this mean? Average probability for disease de detection? Yeah. Ah, this is probability. Yeah, this is uh, for mistakes. Sometimes the machine will be confused. You know, you know the problem. Uh, the black cicatoka and yellow cicatoka. In India, we have yellow cicatoka disease. In Africa, they're having black cicatoka disease. Okay. okay. Sometimes the machine will confuse. Yeah, what is this? So that's why we are getting the 5.6, 1.7, the percentage of mistakes. Okay, so are now rectifying. I, I got that. Sir. So my question is between correctly identified the disease and average probability. Uh, this is over what direction? I, I didn't uh, get. Yeah, that. This, is, uh, this is for correctly identified. But the finally, finally, yes, this is the disease. Okay. That is the. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Can, can you uh, uh, tell about the yield prediction? Yeah, yield prediction. Are planning to... Yeah, if you if you if you look the banana, you are planted. This this is a three months old banana. Okay, mm -hmm. are monitoring through aerial. Yeah, the, all the plant plan, banana plants are three months old. After four months, after six months, how it will it's growing? Okay, your banana is healthy, ninety five percentage. Your banana is growing ninety nine percentage. Yeah, you know, then you know, a thousand bucks is healthily 95 percentage means everything going to you good bunches. Okay, so that's why we are giving healthy and healthy class. Okay, so based on the healthiness of the plant, your yeah, yield, is it or yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, if you if you this image wherever it is, so other plants are getting healthy. So we can immediately, you can, you know very well, yeah, this many bunches going to harvest from this month. So yield predict with the help of control, that's a healthy classification. That's why we are collecting. And also we are collecting dried leaves also for whether when you are going to irrigate or not. We are plant going, we are, Vana plants are, the soil moisture is reduced. That's why the plant is going to, whether the drought. So we can uh, drought prone area, we can aerially monitoring. This area drought prone area, we can give the subsidies to the farmers. That's why that class is also now adding. It's a mixed, mixed, mixed one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There is a one last question, sir. Uh, will okay, this yeah. identify the GMP which is done to increase the production rate and maturation before time? Yeah, yeah, that no, you know now everybody is in the tissue culture. Yeah, that is nine my they will going to harvest. Everybody is knows. One more thing also, now we are AA, it is going to link with the tissue culture part also, from starting material to harvest, you know, the multiplication rate and primary secondary regarding the farmers, they will go and buy the banana and the trace, they will take the images, 98 well trace, we have, you know, the primary harding, you know, article trace, you know very well. Yes, yes, yes. You take the images, wherever the leaf spot is there, whether the, all the bananas are healthy or not, they will confidently, they will take the banana and go. So that also we are now training for artificial image for tissue culture. Tissue culture also. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is next paper. Testing also next paper. Two more publication in online will come up. Okay, sir. We are looking for so, to see that. Yeah, February month I got the award. This is the best paper award in international forum in banana. Yes, sir. Share. Definitely, definitely. So now you can actually I think go ahead with the demonstration. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but before, I just want to have one uh, have one question. Whether it's already uh, coming to the commercial, I mean, whether we can access this app 
Yes, it is freely available in Play Store. Okay. Oh, okay. Only five MB only. And and uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you give us some detail about uh, how much cost uh, this you spend for making this app and all? Because we have yes. plans to make some apps, so I just want to have some technical details. Uh, technical, more and more technical. This is the main project uh, for CR. This is a CGR project, CGR funded project. Uh, if you have RTP, that is for, uh, uh, that is the one program is in a CGAR. Uh, if you want more information, so I will link with the senior Michael Gomez. He is the leader of this project. And also I share, share the website, so you'll get more information. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now you can go ahead with your uh, demo. demo. Yeah. yeah. So I think you can uh, you can turn off your slide. I mean, you can. Um... You can unshare the slide so that you will have a better video, I guess. Okay, one minute. Okay, now we are visible. Okay, now. So you take, uh, okay, you code your app. So already you are. So this is the app, okay? So if you like the plans, first I will demo it, okay? So take the cross section of the pseudo stem. Okay, so take the cross section of the pseudo stem. Okay, so you have the classification for this is the classification pseudo stem. You choose first the pseudo stem, take the image, cross section image. So then you feed on your photos. Okay, just feed it, then you do scan. So they never bothering about bothering about the background and all other things. So take the image. Feed on your mission. Okay. So if you skip to uh, if you scan it, they will answer it. Okay, one minute I will take leaf. Okay. So take the image. Okay. So take the leaf. GPS very, very important. So GPS is a very very important. So location is the foremost important. Not working. One minute. So right now the app is only limited to Tamil language, or no, do you have it in six languages: uh, Swahili, then English, then uh, then French. Okay, six international languages there. Okay, it's available in Hindi as well. No, Hindi is right now. Uh, okay, only, you see, see the accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, six percentage. Then you know the recommend. Our plant is healthy, ninety-six percentage. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, immediately will give the answers. Okay, that was the thing. And also, if you take the fruits, I never cut the fruits. Okay, so I will take the fruit. Cross section. So, Sandomon has the bacterial yield major problem in Africa. Okay. So, whether it's healthy or not. So, we have the classification fruit cut. So, the after harvesting, the people will know. Okay. We'll know the healthy or not. Okay. The consumer point of view. So, you take it. So, then scan it. You will tell the healthiness of the fruit. Cut fruits. This is for my internet uh, very less. Okay. 
So this is the thing. Okay, well, next time you go to demo in the field. So what is the disease in that sample, sir? I no, the Sandomonas, Sandomonas uh, bacterial wilt will happen in in Africa. This will enter through the flower. Okay. Hmm. And inter 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 in immature the fruit will ripen and drop out. Mm, okay. That this is not present in India. Okay. 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 Mm. It's, a, it's a major problem in Africa. Mm. Okay. People will while buying or while watching in the field, it's a take one fruit. They will get the slices. They should know the bacteria is present or not. Mm. Okay. From a point of view, mm. so until is there. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you, do, you also yeah. have deduction for blood disease, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you also, uh, like in that case, would they use their uh, flower samples? Yeah, yeah, that flower, no, the blood disease will happen in flower, in pseudostem, leaf, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, it should be every, it's present everywhere, all the part of the plants. That you uh, that they will use. Which which? Uh, which is the first? Uh, from where it starts first? No, the problem. The if you infected uh, farm tools, the people will cut the leaf. Okay. Or removing the pseudostem, the sheath also they will remove it. Or intercultural operation and also the side sucker they will remove while they infected through side sucker or pseudostem or leaf part. That is. Top at the bottom to top, the bacteria move to the xylem vessels, they will spread all the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, other thing through insects, honey feeding insects, they will carry the bacteria, they will feed on the flower, it will go the through flower, they will affect the flowers, then fruits. The immaturely, the fruit will drop, it will go the body. That is a uh, bottom to top, top to bottom. So it can be uh, two different types of uh, mode of infection. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So one one more question. So you, when you are like uh, doing the demo, you turned on the GPS. Wh why do you need to use the GPS here actually for this? Yes, yes, yes. We know the this this location specific recommendation. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you are in India, whether you are Africa, whether you are or Malay, Australia. Mm -hmm. So location. Specifically. So why we are using the GPS sometimes? Have yellow cicatoka in Africa, black cicatoka. The okay. machine will use. They won't give you answer. That was the thing. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's shown very soon. I think next week will be the offline mode going to release. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So thank you. Yeah. The demo and everything is done. Oh, this is the demo. Okay. Field, field. Next time we'll do the okay. field, and then we'll Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, participants, do you have any more questions from your tape as well as any feedbacks? Uh, sir, I have another question. So, the, does this also recognize the cultivars? That is what you are going to develop in the future, or it is already there? Yeah, that is the fruit identification. Now we are doing fruit identification. We are working. Yeah, the, no, the, no, you know, India only, we are uh, cultivating different plides, okay, diploid, triploid, and tetraploid. For universally, that's a monopoly for gene. That's the granin they are cultivating, okay? Yes, yes, that is yeah, so, predominantly uh, tissue culture yeah, banana as well. That is Cavendish, Cavendish group, Cavendish, yeah. So, so do you have any Not solution enough. to promote uh, more of these uh, hill bananas through tissue culture medium? And uh, or uh, like shedding some light on hill bananas to mitigate the pest and disease problems through these direction methods, so that yeah, it can yeah. also be brought to more cultivation and more uh, supply. Yeah, but the farm of the, the hill banana federation, they having I have I link with more than uh, you know seventy five farmers at the lawyer colonies. Okay, I go so okay. close with the farmers. I am giving most of the you know lawyer farmers. Most of the farmers are educated, not like our farmers. So they are using my app. Okay, sir. Yeah, that is uh, they will use. Oh, the bunch of not only 
that it is there. So if there, are, if there are any diseases specific to a specific cultivar, would that also be covered? Uh, no, the specific problem, no, the more, so, you know, the Rastali, that AAB, that is a Rastali and yeah, the poo one is mostly susceptible to leaf spot, okay, yellow leaf spot. Then in Rastali is mainly for uh, highly susceptible to Hysaria, Rastali Hilbanas. And also G9 also is highly susceptible to granite. But other bananas, they are very, very less resistant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So as of now, your uh, app only uh, says it, whether it is healthy or not healthy. It, uh, it or are not, or disease also detecting. Yeah. Okay, so it won't say anything about specific disease, like? Yeah, specific uh, disease, specific no, it disease, yeah. It does give the description of that. Yeah. Yes, immediately they will give the description. Okay. So okay. He, has, uh, he has collected uh, samples from Xanthomonas wilt, uh, Fusarium wilt, and uh, different okay. kinds of uh, different kinds of diseases. So they will immediately detect what disease it's, uh, it is the moment uh, the image is being fed. Okay, nice. Description, symptom, and recommendation. Uh, I think it is region specifically. Yeah. Region specifically. Yeah. I'm sorry, it is going to be useful for farmers and, and that is the yeah. first necessity. We uh, yeah. that is the need of yeah. the hour first of all, yeah. and uh, it, it is, this is needed in every crop. To be honest, and this will uh, the cassava cassava having the CME major problem. Okay, cassava they did AI. Now, after that, we developed banana, but only one disease they did in cassava. That is a Nuru. Nuru is the app, the AI app. Okay. There is a ring spot virus. No, that the cassava mosaic virus, CME. Mosaic virus, yeah. Uh, that is the first disease, only one disease they did in cassava. So we have multiple classification and multiple varieties. That's why given accuracy. Do you have any plans to extend this through state agriculture, uh, horticulture departments? Because yeah, they can we, we, definitely reach this, uh, reach to many other farmers who are growing yeah. banana and then they can supply these, uh, they can actually can uh, campaign on these apps to people. No, we are going to link with our app to Ulavan, Ulavan app. Yeah, we talked with our uh, DR, TNAU and NRC banana. So the smart agriculture is a major program is going on in Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu government. So we are going to link our app to Ulavan app. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, sir. So I think, um, so participant, do you have any more question? I think there are no more questions, uh, so maybe we can wind up with the uh, talk. Thanks. So, eleven, sir, it is really a wonderful session, and okay. I'm sure it is going to be very useful for many agricultures. And I am also like uh, the agriculture, the, the students who come from agriculture background, they yes. definitely going to get uh, like good impression, and you'll be a role model to make some artificial intelligent application future. Yeah, the so, agriculture, biotechnology, bioinformatics, how we are for our wet lab research. Same like we can go for dry lab, that should be helpful for our yeah. farming activity. Yeah, it's really good application oriented. Uh, yeah. I guess so I'm sure many will get a good uh, motivation from you. Yeah. So I, I'm, and I'm really happy to host you next time with a live session from the field itself. So the next yeah. time they can broadcast in your channel and we can make it in a bigger uh, audience. We'll make a brochure and we'll make it as a big audience. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, yeah, th finally, thanks to LLB. Yeah, yeah. Good initiative for this one. I am very much uh, interested for uh, telecasting science to everyone. Yeah. We will do nicely the good job for our farming community, also our juniors, our seniors, so everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thumbs up to all our team members. Thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and participants, um, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the molecular dynamic simulation. And next time, we'll definitely will bring your Dr. Elia Balan, sir, from the 
a live session. So we are really happy to have you the next week and also. So thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, you. Thank you. Have a nice yeah. evening. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and please don't forget to give your feedback in the Telegram channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.